Hello guys, Mr. Foggy here with another episode of Mr. Foggy's Night Shift Survival. And uh, on this one, we're going to kind of step up to the mark a little bit and start doing some red zones things. Um, you've probably seen on the community server that we've got that a lot of the guys have got some pretty awesome builds going on. Um, a lot of behind the scenes redstone with it. I know absolutely nothing about redstone. Um, and I've had a little look through some stuff to see what's what and I thought, you know what, time to get into it and um, yeah, start off simple I suppose. Now one of the things I'm going to do uh, on this one is make a kind of automatic smelting system. Um, I've seen a few, you know, they're thinking that's nothing to do with redstone, it's just furnaces and hoppers. Um, but I've seen one that's a little bit different. Um, the design was done by a guy called uh, Mr. Crayfish. And yeah, it's got a little bit of redstone in it, nothing too fancy, but it's something different. And I thought, yeah, we'll do that one. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. And I've got everything I need in here. Trap chests and normal chests. Um, what else do I take just now? I need the hopper and furnace. I've got the blocks there already. Okay, that'll do just now. Right. Um, so we want to leave at least some walking space. So we put down a normal chest, trap chest, and normal chest again. And then we bring out. And the blocks underneath there. Right, now we want to go back. So it's three by five by three. One, two, three, four, five. Let's clear that all off. And then go another two blocks down. Too far in there. Like that. So that should be fine. Two, three, four, five. Yep, happy days. Let's get that out of the way just now. Okay, so if we put a block there just now, and a hopper get into that, I'll take that block away. And two over, one, two, like that. Um, oh, I do need something else. Right, I can put this stuff in just now. That's where that's going to go. I need to take the rail down just now. I've taken that, may as well take these. That's by way I said just to get rid of this noisy guy here. Come on. Right. So put that up there just to get on a slant. And then going that up or I did. There's a power rail there, normal rail there, power rail, normal, normal. Right, I'll leave that there just now. Leave that there. Come back with the torch. Right, so we get a comparator. I'll put that in there, normal block. Oh, I do need to go back up. I knew I should have lifted more stuff. So glad it's not far away. 
Need that. And that. And do that. Okay, so a bit of redstone there. And the repeater in there. Right, and then our furnace on top. And the rest of our hoppers. So one on top, one on the side, and one on the top. So we put our smelting stuff in there, or our meats or whatever in there, coal in there, and then that will filter down and into the furnace. Now the rail, I'll get on to why we have the rail in a second. Set in there. And there. Upside down stairs. Like that. I'll just put this up here just now so I can get in. Oh, need that last hopper. And that goes into the back of that cart there. Ammo track there, power track there, and then just so it need it at an angle, put that spare track there and then take it away. And then we'll get a redstone torch to power that bit, like that, and then power these bits like that. And then all we do now is we put our cart down and there. Now the idea being is, yeah, you know, it's a bit more on resources, but like I said, you know, I like this wee build. The um, items go down, then once it's through in the furnace and smelted, activates the comparator, repeats the signal, activates the track, and then it sends the finished product up into that chest. I think I have some ore, or not, I can test it with some meat. And there's some coal, nope, on the coal in there. Just make sure this works right. So put where we want to smelt in there, and the coal in there. That's ticking down, right? yeah, it's ticking down, and that's already gone. And if you come round the back, And it brings it up. Yeah, I forgot to put the block up there. There we go, there's always something, isn't there? Ricky mistake. Oh, take that chest pipe though. Put a solid block up there so it bounces back off. Right, now that should be collecting, hopefully. He thinks, and dropping off. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is it still going? Is it waiting? It's caught up. It's still going to go. Yep, yeah, there we go. And it puts the stuff in. So, in fact, I'm just going to go and sleep till daylight. Don't want any nasty surprises coming up behind us. Hey, Gary. Just so it's daylight, nice and safe.
and this will just keep on, you know, rolling about and start filling up. Like I say, it's quite heavy on resources, but you know, it's something different. And um, yeah, a little bit of redstone in there, but it gives you an idea. Of it gives me an idea of starting off, like I said, know nothing about redstone. I haven't really messed with redstone much at all. And this is different to the other automated smelters that I've seen. So I thought, you know, something different. And then you can pretty it up to, you know, however you feel. Get some item frames on there so it's like, you know, coal finished product. And then you can tidy this up to make it look however you want which is going to be the the next task that will be getting done oh, doors are opening on themselves now right, so let's see we've got some I did have some coal not coal, some stone so I can make it look like kind of brickworkish Gonna need a lot more, but you know what? I can put it all in my automatic machine now. And if he has more coal, I take coal out of there. Might need to go mine for some coal. I can go in there for the time being. So can that. Let's see if we've got any more coal up here. Okay, we'll sit in. Any coal down here? Nope. I don't believe we're out of coal. Gonna to have to go find coal. Oh, right, I might know where there's some. I have another little secret stash. So, in there, we should have some lovely cooked pork chops. Yeah, and the stone's starting to come through. So, I'll just let that work away. And we'll see if we can find some coal. I've got another little builder is playing with. Ooh, some iron. Yeah, hey, cool. Right, that'll do it. I'll just stick that in. Right, guys, we'll, we'll let... I'm not going to stand here and wait for that to... To be done. So I shall see you in a couple of moments and hopefully this will be all done and we can uh, yeah we'll fancy this up a little bit. So see you in a little second. Hi guys and we're back again and we have finished it. So just fancy it up a little bit. Now yeah it's big it's not compact but I like the look of it. It's something different. It uses the rail system, it's got a little bit of redstone in it. And it does its job. Nothing in there, but in here. Yeah, it's got the port tops, it's got the stones, it's got some iron, so it's still working away. You can hear the the track, the cart coming up and down. There you go. And as you can see, we've started taking the roof off of this to put onto the roof of that because this will be going and probably in the next episode we will be making a sorting system so it's not just going to be random stuff in all these chests you know it'll be getting taken away not be getting sorted which will be good for you know the farm because it's starting to get full now so it'll be good just to pick all the stuff up throw it in a hopper or something 
and then get it sorted out into its respective chests and then we can start you know the potato farms coming on it's now full so we can just start throwing the food in there and it'll start getting cooked same with the lovely pork chops beef chicken yeah, maybe even mutton if we get tired of um, the different coloured sheep that's about but I think we'll eventually have a lot of this automated or automated should say so we'll have an automated chicken farm um, yeah I'm pretty sure we could do something with the the cattle and all that as well maybe free up a bit of the pen so we're not going in there all the time maybe even make a redstone farm an automated farm somehow but we'll, you know we can look into that but that's it there guys all sorted and all working quite happy alright guys so we'll wrap this one up remember to like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to keep updated with the other series that are going on um, you can follow me on Twitter I'll put the link in the description below you can also like me on Facebook I've got a Facebook page now we do a kind of block of the day thing where I select a random block from Minecraft and then give a little bit of detail on it and um, so you can keep up with that and also I'll put all my video links on the page as well but in the meantime guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video take it easy I'll see you later